He's at the helm of a party in turmoil, wrestling over which direction it should take. Is UKIP falling apart? Nigel Farage is once again facing questions over UKIP and his own future. Well, if the, lady, if the NEC unanimously back me, that's not my fault, is it? Just a week ago, in a last push for votes, Mr Farage was side by side with senior colleagues. I pass on your support to Nigel. But now this man, a key ally, although still loyal to Nigel Farage and his leadership, claims he's surrounded by poisonous advisers who've made him snarling and somewhat hostile. To be making complaints, uh, you know, and to be showing an aggressive demeanour to the public, uh, it's, I don't think it's Nigel's natural way. I much prefer him as an ebullient, cheerful, optimistic politician, and I think uh, that's the way he reaches out best. UKIP's problem surfaced after the election. Nigel Farage failed to get a seat, and even after four million votes, they got just one MP. Mr Farage quit as UKIP's leader, but three days later was back in the job, which some thought was a mistake. Then there was a row with the party's only MP over public funding. This former UKIP donor thinks the party needs more stability ahead of the upcoming debate over Britain's role in Europe, so Nigel Farage should step down. He is very much UKIP, but I think we need somebody new now. What he's done for the party is incredible, but I think in order to win the referendum, we need a slightly quieter approach. This split is about the party's direction, whether it should continue with what some see as divisive rhetoric or take a calmer approach. But for supporters in UKIP strongholds, its front man is inevitably the focus. That's been going on all the way through the, the, the election, hasn't it? Somebody's been having a go at Nigel. I mean, here, it was, he was known locally as Nasty Nigel. I think he's brilliant and I think he should stay and I don't think he should have offered to resign in the first place. Nigel Farage today brushed off the criticism he's faced. Well, I don't feel terribly aggressive, I have to say. But this ugly public spat is undoubtedly damaging for him and his party.